Hello and welcome to this orthographic projection introductory video. It's about the four minutes long looking orthographic views. That's representations of 3D objects using related 2D flat views. That's looking at the surface at right angles, straight on, parallel to the surfaces you're looking at itself. So fronts, sides and tops. Those views, they may have different names later on, but they've got to be drawn fairly accurately uh, and to scale. The specific names for each of these views will change now from the front view we're going to refer to as the elevation. The side view we'll call the end elevation and the view from above, the top view, we're going to refer, going to, refer to as a plan. Now, you may have heard of that term before. In fact, you, you may be aware of certain people using that term within their job. Architects, for example, draw plans of... Let's just take this 3D form. We've made up with six cubes. That's two wide, one deep, and three high. So I've drawn on the side there to give you an idea. And by the way, architects, yep, they draw plans of houses, buildings. Normally with the roof off, so slightly different. Let's have a look at this idea of a snowman very quickly. Different type of form. So we've got a front view, an elevation, a side view, and a top view. So elevation, end elevation, and plan. And no, that guy is not falling on top of the guy in the middle. But they're all looking at each other at 90 degrees, but they're also all looking in towards the center. Okay, so plan view up above. Staring at the guy in the middle might be handy as a way of remembering the orientation of the three views. So let's have a look at this object. So we've taken that stack, taken photographs of the front view, the side view and the top view, had to tidy them up a little bit and arrange them so they line up. So it's three high, two long and one thick. Now the terms might change a wee bit, thickness, length, breadth, etc. But that's a 3D view, a 3D perspective view, where we're going to look at orthographic views, 2D views, where we can only see a certain amount of information. But if we have all the views, we should get information about the whole thing. One view will show height and length, for example, whereas another view might show the thickness and the length, or one showing the thickness and the height. So again, Three views, giving as much information as we can. The proportion of this big box, if you think about it, is a cube wise, a proportion of three, two, one. Three high, two wide, one thick. Give there a proper names for those, tidy it up a little bit, and you can see how those drawings relate. Little lines join them together. We'll call those projection lines just to carry a size from one view over to the one next door. So, orthographic projection in a very simple form. We're going to test that later on with some more complex forms where we've taken that. Same box idea, that combination of six, but we cut parts off. We've cut bits away on corners at 45 degrees. We've cut bits away by removing the box completely. Or we've turned the, the, the cuboid round so you can see different surfaces. So to make it simple, we see the pink surfaces, green surfaces, and yellow surfaces. Some may have a slight combination of the two because sloping surfaces can be seen from the top and from the side. So let me get the colours right here. So pink will be the front elevation, green will be the end elevation, and yellow will be the plan view. On these 3D forms, uh, they have the same proportion, but they're laying down in different positions. But one of them looks slightly different. There's one that's not quite the same 3, 2, 1. I wonder if you can spot that. X is the bottom corners, and as a progression, 1, 2, 3. I know they're not in order, but follow that number around. It'll give you a chance to build confidence in this. Have a go, see how you get on.